and welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and this is going to be a collaboration with another YouTuber. So what we're going to be doing inside of this video is going to be absolutely insane. Basically, myself and the other YouTuber have both built two troll bases. So let me just show you the troll bases guys, check this out. So this is one of the troll bases. Now what we have to do, we have to attack both troll bases. So I'm going to attack both of his troll bases. He is going to attack both of my troll bases. And we're going to see which one of us is going to get the highest percent. Now the only rule is you have to attack from the arrows. And you are not allowed jump spells or earthquake spells. So check it out. This is going to be one of the bases that he's going to have to take on in a moment's time. It is going to be absolutely insane. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. We're about to get right into some live action. So just before we do, we are doing a celebration for the collaboration. We are going to be giving away $25. So if you want the chance to win a $25 gift card, all you need to do is click the link in the description box down below, guys. Click the link, subscribe to myself, and of course, subscribe to Jasu's YouTube channel. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button, and of course, you will be entered into the giveaway. So I also forgot to mention, we haven't seen each other's troll bases, so I am going to be attacking Jasu first. And I'm going to be using a bowler army, but I'm not going to use healers because I've got a feeling he is going to have a lot of air mines ready to take me out. So we're going to bring ourselves loads of bowlers. Hold on, one too many bowlers there. We're going to drop four bowlers out. So we got a golem inside of our clan castle. Actually, no, we have hog riders inside of our clan castle. So the rest of the troops are going to be wizards, guys. And then we're going to bring ourselves two archers. The spells we are going to bring are going to be three rage spells, sorry, two rage spells, two heal spells, a free spell, and of course a poison. So I am ready. Let me tell Jasu to challenge me. Okay, so here we go. We are just about to attack Jasu. So as I said, the only rule is, well, there are two rules. We are not allowed any earthquakes, any jump spells, and we have to attack from the arrow. So let's just drop in an archer there to see what's going on inside of this arrow. So don't forget, if you do want to see some more episodes like this, then leave a like right now on this episode to let me know you do enjoy these types of videos, guys. So here we go. We're going to be dropping in the Grand Warden, the Queen, the King, and of course, all of these bowlers. Let's see what we can do to Jatsu's first troll base. So there goes the first big bomb, guys. Some Hog Riders inside of the Clan Castle. I think they've been absolutely destroyed. So we're going to drop down the first Rage Spell. Let's see what sort of damage we can do to this base. So there goes the Grand Warden's ability. We're going to drop the Free Spell. Sorry, the actual... Oh, wow. We're getting wrecked here. We're getting wrecked. We're going to have to drop down a Heal Spell. We've dropped down the Poison just ahead of the troops, guys. Here we go. The Barb. Barbarian King's ability is about to be used, but he's going to get crushed. The King got absolutely crushed there. Where are our troops? Our troops have melted. Don't worry, we've still got loads of troops left over on the left-hand side. Plenty of bowlers. What's going on? Come on, bowlers. You can do some damage for Tony, please. Now, don't forget, we do get two goes at every single one of these bases. So, we're going to drop the Queen's ability. We've just popped her ability. She's going to be taking out some of those buildings over on the left-hand side so far. We are up to 66%, but Jasu's base has destroyed me. It has absolutely destroyed me. And my bowlers, all of my troops have melted. There goes the last archer. So I don't know if I've mentioned it, but we do get two attacks at every single one of the bases. So obviously we failed that, guys. Only 71% total damage. We're going to change our army. We're going to attack the same base. And then Jasu is going to attack my first base. Okay guys, so change of plans, we've actually dropped out all of the bowlers and we are going to be attacking Jasu's second base right now. This time, we're going to be using 36 miners, another golem and of course the wizards. So let's go in for the second live attack against the first base. Then of course, Jasu will be taking on one of my bases. So this is going to be awesome. Make sure you stay tuned. So here we go, we're going to be attacking the exact same base once again. Of course, this time we are going to be using miners. So we're going to drop in the golem, drop in the king, the queen and of course the grand warden a couple of wizards and we're gonna try and you know do a little bit of a funnel this time so that the actual miners can destroy the majority of this base so who do you think's gonna win guys if you've made it this far into the episode who do you think is going to win this challenge will it be me or will it be jasu so here we go we're gonna go in with a couple of miners on each side now just to build a little bit of a funnel the golem has unfortunately been killed but here we go the miners should now hopefully make their way up in towards the center of the base so we're gonna drop down the first rage spell gonna keep the poison we're not gonna be dropping down the poison just yet gonna be dropping in the other uh, grand warden's ability king's ability no we just missed the king's ability damn 
I don't think this is looking too pretty right about now, guys. But here we go. We got some of our troops making their way up into the center. There go the miners on the uh, the right hand side there. Three spells gonna go down. Heal spell and a rage spell. And then of course we are gonna pop the queen's ability. So the queen is making her way up in towards the center of the base. Big bombs are gonna go off. The second Inferno Tower is going to connect onto these miners, but can we take down Jasu's troll base in time? The Baby Dragon is doing a lot of damage. We're up to 64% so far. Come on, miners, you can do it. They're melting, guys. The miners are melting. The Baby Dragon is destroying them. I don't think we're even going to beat the previous attack. So the second multi-target Inferno Tower has been taken out, but of course that Baby Dragon is way too much to handle. A couple of miners are still left alive, but they have made it onto the Town Hall. But they have nowhere to go. So unfortunately, a couple of defenses left standing. And of course, we've lost once again only 67%. So we're going to set our second base into action. We are about to challenge Jasu. And of course, he is firstly going to be taken on the Serpent. So let's see if Jasu is going to be able to beat this base, guys. Check it out. Here we go. We are going to go in for the first attack. Remember, he does get two attempts at beating this base. So here we go. First one coming in. Jasu has to attack from the arrow right there, guys. He's got to make his way all the way around the outside of the base. And, of course, through the center and then up towards the end. Can he get a one star? Can he get a two star? Can he be a hero? Can Jasu get a three star? Do not forget to leave a like on this video, guys, if you do want to see more episodes just like this. These are perhaps the most interesting and fun-filled episodes we ever do on the channel. So I think he's just taking a quick look at the base. Check it out. That is beautiful. Four expos in the center there. The clan castle will come out also. So he's got to be dropping in those miners. But of course, so are those healers. But of course, they took a lot of damage there from some of those air bombs. But there are plenty more air bombs along. I think there's actually about four or five of them just there. So make sure you stay tuned. This is definitely going to be interesting. It's going to be hilarious. How far can Jatsu get? Look at that. The expo has already connected onto the queen. Once she's taken out all of these buildings, she will eventually have to make her way up towards where those archer towers are. Check out the little Harry Potters there getting flung off the map so quickly. Here comes the rest of the army though. There go the Valkyries guys. His king is going to rampage up here. The second, sorry, what is that? The first or the second uh, rage spell has been sent down. There come the defending clan castle. The golem is broken out. The golem is on a rampage, but those Valkyries are making their way up into the base. Looking pretty good right about now. Some of the other troops have made their way into the center, but it's all about these Valkyries, guys. How far can they go? So the Valkyries have hit a wall. Check out the amount of Larrys there. They haven't even got a one star yet, and they absolutely melted. So Jatsu's army not looking too pretty right now. Now he knows what this troll base is all about. This is probably one of the most awesome troll bases I have ever made on the channel. So the Golem's still alive. I must admit, although I made this base myself, that Expo placement is perfect. That Expo placement really does a lot of damage. So the Golem's going to melt now. It's going to explode in a second's time. The healers, they actually done quite a good job and have survived quite a long time inside of the base. But of course, he does get a second attack and he now knows that there's quite a lot of air mines and air bombs right at the start. So is he going to change his strategy? So, so far, I am beating Jasu. He got 36% total damage, but of course, he does get a second go. So, here we go. Jasu coming in for the second attack. He is still using a Queen War, guys. This time, one healer was dropped down straight away and, of course, taken out in a second. Now, he's actually got seven Pekkas and an extra Pekka inside of his attacking clan castle. So, this is going to be definitely heavy Pekka, guys. So let's see what sort of damage these Pekkas are going to be able to do against this Serpent Troll base. So the Queen going to be taking out loads of those buildings nice and early. The Wizard's going to go flying just as usual, guys. And here we go. The Peckers are about to be dropped into the base. Let's see what sort of damage they can do. Wow, okay, this is going to be awesome. This is definitely going to be awesome. So the Hawk Riders going to jump straight over into the base, get distracted by those Peckers, and the Teslas are actually going to take them all around the outside of the base. So, of course, the Peckers are going to make their way back into the actual walls. Let's see what they do here. King's ability has just been used. Big Bomb is about to go off the Peckers. 
seem to be doing a great job so far. Up to 22% heal spell has just been deployed. Jasu, you smart little bugger. This is looking decent, guys. This is looking very decent indeed. So double big bomb going to go off. This is his last rage spell. And then, of course, he still has a free spell. But he's used the rage spell. And remember, there are loads of Larry traps here. So he's going to get distracted. The Peckers won't be able to take out those Inferno Towers as he predicts. So check it out, guys. The first one's going to go down. But the second one, still up and standing. And he is only on 29% total damage so far. Those Larrys are distracting the Peckers. And it's not going to plan, guys. So it looks like I am going to take the first victory. The Peckers have died. And of course, Jasu got a total of 29%. So we're going to be attacking Jasu's second troll base in a second's time, but we are going to switch up the rules. We are only now allowed one attack on the second troll base because this episode, I think, has gone on a lot longer than I actually predicted. So we're going to be using 31 miners, guys, and I am ready to take him on. So the entire army, 31 miners, one Pekka, one Golem, and of course the heroes and the spells. This is going to be interesting. I believe his second base is actually a lot harder than the first one. So let's see what uh, let's see what Jasu's second base actually looks like. Here we go. So here we go, going in for the live attack. Jasu has asked me to attack from the box. Okay, now this is definitely one of the most insane bases I've ever seen. What is going on here? This is this is ridiculous. How am I going to beat this? I have no idea. But of course, we do have the two archers. So we're going to drop down the two archers. Uh, yeah, okay, wait. We're not going to drop down the two archers. So we're going to drop in the golem. Go Grand Warden, Queen, and of course, the King. So we're going to drop in these wizards. Just to, you know, make a nice little funnel there. Drop in the Pekka. And we're going to drop in some miners. Now, hopefully, some go to the right, some go to the left. We're going to drop in the uh, the Hog Riders, which are also going to do some damage. So we're going to use the, uh, the Grand Warden's ability. I have no idea what's going on. I can't really see much. So we're going to drop a free spell, sorry, a rage spell over on the left-hand side. And here we go. The rest of the miners, hopefully going to make their way in towards the center of the base. Right towards the center where that lovely little funnel is. So here we go. We're going to drop down the free spell on the Inferno Tower. Let's see how much damage we can do to Jasu's base. So the, uh, the miners are actually making their way up here. Can we take out this Inferno Tower? That is the problem. The Inferno Tower is going to be the problem. We're going to use the Queen's ability, guys. We're up to 59% so far, so it's not looking too bad. The second Inferno Tower is going down, and it's gone. Can we get the three star? Here we go, Jesu's defending clan castle is unfortunately coming out, guys. We're going to drop the poison spell over there where the dragon and, of course, the balloon is. We're up to 78%. A couple of mine is still up and alive. The queen is... I think the queen's down. Wow, check out how many miners we have on the town hall. And, of course, the Pekka. So this is looking a lot better than I actually predicted, guys. The Pekka is still alive. I don't know how that's actually happened. The dragon has just been killed by the queen. We got some wizards over on the right-hand side. No way. We've just three-starred Jasu's base using miners. That is insane. That is definitely insane. I did not expect that to happen. But, of course, Jasu has still got to take on my second base. Can he three-star it? So here we go, he only gets one attack and he has to attack from the center there. Check this out, guys. He has to attack from the center. Now, there's no Teslas or Big Bombs. They are all over here. So he's actually got a little bit of a chance to easily two-star this base. Now, it just depends how smart he is and what sort of damage these Valkyries can do. But remember, they have to break down the walls. You're not allowed wall breakers, or he hasn't even brought wall breakers. He hasn't got jump spells, and he hasn't got earthquake spells. So this is definitely going to be one of the hardest troll bases Jasu has ever attacked. It's a town all 11. And of course, he has to deal with the heroes before he even takes out the walls. So check it out. The defending clan castle has come out there's some hog riders inside of there the only hope he has is if he spams every single one of the troops and i don't think he's actually going to do that so he's dropped in the poison spell the double poison let's see what he can do here there goes the heal the rage spell everything is going to be dropped into the center now check it out guys jasu is going crazy he's already taken out loads of the base though there goes the town hall the wizard towers have been destroyed but of course he has to break through another layer of rules to take down the Inferno Towers. Wow, those Valkyries are beasts. Those Valkyries are absolute beasts. The second Inferno Tower hasn't fallen though. And Jasu's entire army has been wrecked. But the Valkyries are still alive. Look at that. There is hope. The Valkyries have somehow managed to survive. Jasu's got himself the one star, guys. But the rest of the base, obviously, it doesn't look like it's going to go down. 
check it out. That's so weird. It looks like he's completely destroyed the base, but he's only got 18% damage. And that is where it's going to end. And we are going to end this episode here, guys. So don't forget, if you do want to see another one of these, make sure you smash that like button down below. Can we honestly try and hit 5,000 likes on this video? Please go and subscribe to Jasu's YouTube channel, guys. As I said, the giveaway link will be in the description box. I will see you very shortly. Have a great day. Peace out.